This is the GAC Weekly presented by the Great American Conference. There I am. I'm Joey McWilliams. Glad to be with you this morning. It is a nice fall day. It's starting to feel a little bit more like fall, and the Great American Conference has lots of activity going on today and this weekend. We begin briefly with football, only to mention that it is the biggest game of the regular season in the GAC, and it's happening On Saturday, it's going to be Southern Arkansas at Washita. Southern Arkansas coming in 8-1, Washita 9-0, and the conference championship is definitely on the line. Speaking of conference championships, one of those is already set up in soccer. Women's soccer from the pitch last night, Southwestern defeated Harding 2-0, shut out Harding last night, and in the other semifinal, it was Oklahoma Baptist being taken to penalty kicks by Washita. And OBU wins 3-2. So the championship match in women's soccer will be Southwestern against Oklahoma Baptist. That will be in Shawnee at 7 o'clock on Saturday night. And you can check that out on the Great American Conference website. It will be broadcast live GAC Sports Network. From the men's soccer pitch, well, that's going on today in Harding, as it will be the host Harding Bisons taking on Oklahoma Baptist. And that will be a 7 o'clock start tonight. And the early game, the first semifinal, will be Washita versus Southern Nazarene. That's at 4 o'clock. That championship match will also be on the GAC Sports Network and will be broadcast Sunday afternoon at 1. In the meantime, the lineup is set now for what will take place in Hot Springs next week. It's only a week away for the volleyball championship tournament in the Great American Conference. And the standings, final standings, or at least with one more match to take place, Northwestern and East Central taking place. But it doesn't affect the seeding in the GAC Conference Tournament. The postseason berths have been set, and it looks like this. Harding wins the regular season. It'll be Harding against Northwestern, the number eight seed. Southwestern gets the number two seed. We'll take on Southern Nazarene in a rematch of a game that closed out the uh, uh, the regular season. Henderson State taking on Oklahoma Baptist, and uh, it will be Washita against Arkansas Tech. That's a 4-5 matchup. Not used to seeing Tech there in that number five spot, but a team that is familiar with being in the top spot, a team that's had a fantastic this se- season this year, the Harding Lady Bisons. And getting to visit with me on the phone right now is the coach of the Harding Lady Bisons, Coach Meredith Fear. Coach, congratulations on a regular season championship. I know it was a long road to get there, but you all came out on top through the regular season. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, let's let's start at the beginning then. And we look through the, the opening to your season. You start off four and six, a challenging pre-conference schedule. We talked about that at the start of the year. You knew there were going to be some challenges, but uh, really some bumps in the road. How do, you, how do you make it through that then to get into the GAC portion of the slate? Yeah, um, we talked a lot about that as a team, um, that we were going for some things and, uh, you know, we beat two top 25 teams along the way in there and lost a really good one to a very good Tarleton team. Um, and then we were also fighting injuries um, for two of our, our big players those first two weekends. So I think that's where some um, losses that probably shouldn't happen happened um, when we were fighting some injuries and, and going through some mental stuff. Um, but that definitely both the strength of schedule and playing those tough teams up front, but then also what we had to go through with okay, well, this person's not on the court. How are you going to react? Like, you know, like we're still being one team. And, and that was another thing we, we, I don't know if we should say battled, but we worked through and, and we're very mindful of was that, you know, we did have a big senior class and to not make ourselves into two teams. So when those seniors were out there and doing well, everything was great. And then if something went wrong or, you know, one of those seniors was out for a game or two that, you know, everything kind of fell apart there for a second. And, you know, we had to check ourselves and like, we're still a great team. Um, So they definitely uh, pulled that together. And then we had an injury kind of mid season with one of our starters and we didn't see that same type of, you know, uh, fall not fall apart we didn't fall apart but we definitely did not play as well um, and they they responded to to a little finger injury later on much better so I definitely think that the strong schedule early on helped us in the long run well in, in light of that then was there was there a point that you look at and say really this this was a key point whether it be a, a someone coming back from injury or a specific win that that you all had to to push through that you say hey we really can get this done this year Yeah, I think when we saw Tech first uh, as our first conference match um, and uh, in years past, we've kind of 
of revved up our schedule and that definitely has it, its benefits and you have to know your team and you know who's coming back and how you should schedule um, but I, I think last year uh, specifically I think we had a very good team you know last year and then when we got to tech that was sort of a step up you know from what we had seen early on and we were kind of you know shocked and surprised and we're like oh man okay you know this is how it's going to be and we weren't ready for that and we took a loss early for to them and so I think that part of the strong schedule was okay, we're going to see teams as good or better than anybody in our conference early on. So we know, you know, what that level of play is going to be like. And so I think that did help us then when we had a good team right out the gate in conference play, we were able to get a win over them. And then that sort of set the tone for the rest of the conference play. Speaking with Meredith Fear now, the coach of the Harding Lady Bisons, whose team has won the regular season championship in the GAC and also will be the number one seed in the conference tournament Let's look at these seniors really quickly, and, and one thing does stand out to me about them. They're all four-year players there for Harding. Mm-hmm. Taylor Eubank, Emily Clayton, Zoe Harden, Emma Reeves, Taylor Lake, Madison Poon, and Rachel Heisner. Coach, to have players like that for four years and just get to, to see them all the way through, what what a fantastic run. Talk about your seniors. It's crazy. And we just had senior night last night, so I'm still kind of all, you know, <laughs> emotional about it. But but to have a group that big, to have a group that big that stays together, and then to have a group that big that stays together and has significantly contributed, you know, all four years, definitely the last three, um, you know, that's just so incredibly rare. Um, so, you know, last night did feel like like a really a big special night. Um, but but I don't know how to I don't know how to put it into words. You know, when you have a group that big that for the last four years have really kind of carried, um, you know, your success. And their freshman year was rough for us. You know, we were uh, 500, and I don't know that that's happened in Harding volleyball overall in a long time. I think we finished fifth in in conference, and it was just not my expectation. It was not what they expected. As a really, I knew they were a really good class coming in, but as freshmen, they thought, hey, we were coming to Harding where you know, we win championships and we have great records and what's going on here. And, and they stuck it out, you know, they, they could have, you know, like, Oh, this isn't what we signed up for. We're out of here, you know, and they didn't, they stayed together. They stayed with me. We fought through it. We worked through it. We turned around, we got regular season championship their sophomore year. Um, you know, and last year, their junior year was a great year and we just came up just so shy on you know tech that one right. that one match um and then this year to to be able to then their senior year get the regular season you know that's wonderful but by no means are we you know are we done i think we've been in that trap before where we got regular season and then we go into the banquet and you know you're going to get some awards and you get the trophy and you feel real good about yourself and then you know like you turn around you got to play and like oh no all these other people are here to play too so i don't think we're going to get trapped um by that this year either because they are definitely nothing's done for us yet you know they're very right. motivated to get through this tournament and keep playing and 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 well should be of course you mentioned senior night last night and you all uh, were able to get the sweep over monticello and mm-hmm. so the victory there to close out the regular season I, I agree with you, Coach. I don't. I I think it's one of those things too that you they they understand even what's at stake too because with the regional rankings as they are right now, uh, the Lady Bisons need to pick up that win to continue the season on to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I'm actually on the regional ranking committee this year, um, so that <laughs> has been entertaining to get behind the curtain a little bit. And you kind of knew in this conference, like you know, people joke around that it's so oh, it's impossible, and you know. Uh, that's not a joke, you know, I mean, it it really is unless you preseason schedule a MIAA or a Northern Sun, you know, straight up schedule and beat their top guns. It's just kind of it is the way it is. You know, you can only control what what you what you can control and we can't control the region we're in. We can't control, you know, the schedule that we have to have. And so, um, you know, we can control going into the conference tournament and playing well and getting a win there. So that's what we're going to try and do. All right. Well, coach, you're going to be taking on Northwestern in the first round you know that that match for sure Northwestern you all uh, beat them the only time you saw them this year 3-1 against the Rangers Uh, are you ready to preview this yet Uh, I hate to put you on the spot like that because you just again coming off senior night and (laughs) winning that uh, that regular season you want to you want to look ahead a little bit or just say hey we're going to we're going to go out and give it our best shot 
No, look ahead. We're ready. We're ready. Um, yeah. So Northwestern, we're you know the the field is tight this year. Like everybody's pretty much you know we we got out um with just one loss, which is great. And then you kind of look down, and a lot of people are playing around. A lot of people. Um, so there's there's no easy match uh, at all. Even one eight. This is going to be a really good match. Um, I'm glad you know when you have an Oklahoma team the first round sometimes it can be tricky because you know you've only seen them once and you're not as familiar with them i am glad that we saw them on the road though i think it's extra tricky when someone you only see them once and it's on your home court that's happened to us before where we played a team and we beat them in three at home and then we're just like oh, okay this is gonna be easy you know we're gonna walk in here and then the conference tournament a neutral site it's just a whole nother beast it's not you know a home and away it's not a regular season like it's just everything uh it is ground level so um I, i'm glad is i think it's going to be a really good matchup they have some they have some good hitters they have big outsides and uh you know but i think that if we if we play well if we prepare well that we'll be able to, to take care of business there all right the harding lady bisons and and if you do win that when you get the winner of washita and tech and so yeah. uh, you don't don't want to look ahead at all there, but uh, still, that's that's that side of the bracket. And of course, it'll be Southwestern, Southern Nazarene, Henderson State, and Oklahoma Baptist on the other side of the bracket. Coach Meredith Fear, thank you so much for taking time with us today. And again, Absolutely. congratulations to you and your team for the regular season championship. Thank you. See you next week. All right, that's Coach Meredith Fear with the Harding Lady Bisons and her again her team winning and the regular season they will be the number one seed in hot springs next weekend we wrap up the gac weekly as this is a presentation of the great american conference to hear more about this and other college and high school sports please visit oklahomasports.net and arkansasports.net and don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel as well that you get to see the gac weekly now in video form go to midwest sportsnet youtube.com midwest sportsnet and subscribe for Coach Meredith Fear, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching today. God bless you and have a great day.